Your boy's got 85 standards and a nice little variety of packs from this most recent grind over the weekend. We're going to open all of those packs, hopefully get some really good diamond pulls, and finish some collections today. Let's get into it. The collections and the MLB The Show is always one of the most fun things to do in the first month that the game is out. you got to complete every collection of 40 live series cards. Each team has its own reward, some diamonds, some golds. As you collect those rewards, you will also unlock these league legends. You get Rafael Palmero for completing the entire American League. You get 95 Pedro Martinez for completing the entire National League. Once you get Palmero and Pedro, you can lock them in for the 99 overall Babe Ruth. I spent the first week that the game was out just grinding as much stuff as possible, but now I'm ready to start getting these collection rewards. So first things first for today, I have gone through every single MLB team and I have gotten every depth player that we have. Every common bronze and silver for every single major league team has been assembled no money spent like i said we spent the last week grinding so just from post game rewards and the couple of pack openings that we've done i already had about 15 to 20 cards from every team and most of the bronze and commons but i just went through and bought the rest so every team as you can see really only needs one or two cards every team that has a diamond all we need to complete that team is the diamond and even teams that don't have diamonds i set us up to where we only need one or two cards for every single collection some teams are more loaded than others however we're not even close on the braves even though we have all their depth guys done we're certainly not going to be able to unlock babe ruth today but i've made it really easy for us we know exactly what player we need to one player two some teams four the players that we need to target to finish these collections we now know exactly who they are so as we're opening packs we know who to aim for if we get a brand new diamond or a brand new gold for a team we probably just completed their collection it took me a week of grinding mlb the show to assemble a pretty solid squad we have been grinding conquests i mean i think i could run through and make world series with this team right here just from grinding and i haven't even activated the byron buxton captain boost for a team build yet and after all that grinding over the last week all the conquest maps we've completed all of them all the conquest maps the u.s map we've done the showdowns we've done the moments for all the team affinity we've been playing battle royale we've played five games of rank seasons that put us at about 115,000 stubs we spent roughly 65 to to 70,000 stubs getting all those bronze silver and even a handful of gold cards for our collection so that they're nearly done that leaves us with 48,377 stubs to finish some collections today I'm trying to knock off at least a dozen of these collections but before we start buying cards we need to finish collections let's try and pull some of the cards that we need so now those packs that you saw at the very beginning of the video we got a handful more the team affinity diamond packs we got some chase packs a ton of standard packs from finishing out all of the conquest maps and a couple redrafts and battle royale i can't lie let's open up packs first make sure we don't pull any diamonds that we need before we go buying them and this really just is a common tactic for all if you have packs sitting in your inventory open them before you buy players you never know if you're going to pull the player that you need. I mean, I, I know uh, I have a pretty good idea of what collections I want to knock out first here after we open these packs. We're going to go jump in. I'd hate to buy them, and then we open the packs after and we pull them. That would just be unfortunate. So 77 standard packs here. I'm going to sim through until we get a diamond pull. Hopefully we get a couple of diamond pulls, uh, but just to speed things up a little bit. Jolly Jolly! We got a nice little special guest on No Money Spent today. What are you looking for? If I see it, I'll let you know. Oh, 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 oh. We got supercharged Jake Cronenworth in that last one. I already have him in my inventory, but he was there. 61 more. It's not a diamond, but he's technically a 99 right now. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, we're down to 30 packs. No diamonds pulled. Just had Jolly Olive slide through the office in the video. My man was looking for a headset. Gonna let him borrow this one when I'm done this video. But man, there it is. There it is. It was long overdue. Now give me a good one. Give me a valuable one. I don't want to have to buy Aaron Judge. It's purple with long hair. Is that Zach Gallon? Aaron, no. Bro! <laughs> Let's go! Harp. Bryce Harper jumps into a pack. You love to see it. And that is exactly what I'm talking about right there. I got John Cruck in a battle royale draft. I love his swing. I want to use him. No money spent. The Phillies collection is one of the ones I'm going to jump after. All bias aside, I really do want to grab John Cruck. I was going to buy Bryce Harper. Now I don't have to. Nice 86 overall grab there in Bryce Harper. You love to see it. We also got some diamond uniforms there. Now we're off and rolling. I can live with that. That's our only diamond. I can live with that. But I'd love one more. <laughs> Down to five packs here on the standards. The one Bryce Harper pull. We've also had a couple golds, I will say. The other cool thing about buying out 
um, the non-diamonds in all of your collections is that everything I pull now is a duplicate. Like, I can sell everything from here on out. From silvers down, it's all just stubs getting back into my inventory that I can use to either buy the diamonds that I need or other diamonds in the game to upgrade the squad. So I'm happy that this first week is done. We have all the depth in our collections. Not the best pack opening there with the standards, but again, I will take what I can get. Now let's open up these four ball and as a habit packs. We have a chase pack and a millionaire pack. Nathan Avaldi, sell the Nathan Avaldi. I can sell the Max Scherzer. I'll just take the 1200 right there. Old Sandy Alcantara, he's, a, he's in the free agent pool, I believe, for some reason. Uh, Jeff Hoffman. Is that new? No, that is a duplicate. Okay, I do have Jeff Hoffman in my inventory. We have two headliner packs here we can open up. We have one pack one and one pack two from those headliner randomizers. We get silver Matt McLean in the first one. And then in pack number two, silver Marcus Stroman. Now we have, let's do the millionaire pack first. Let's do the millionaire pack first. <sighs> millionaire packs are not nice, man. They have not been good to me so far. Chase pack one now. We'll see. I was honestly hoping that came through for us. That pack not coming through sucks. That's all right. We have two more AL Central packs here from Team Affinity. We can add. I'm just going to make sure I'm not grabbing duplicates out of these packs, to be honest. We'll do Zach Grinke out of this first one, and then I will take Ivan Rodriguez out of the second one. Now we have an NL Central Team Affinity pack where I'm going to take Joey Vado. American League West. Give me Mr. Leclerc. And then in the NL West, I will take... Justin Turner looks good. Chuck Nasty. Chuck Nasty. Now that gives me exactly 50,000 stubs to work with here as I jump into these live series collections. We're going to start knocking them off. In fact, I think one of them, the White Sox, I believe I'm already done. Yeah, we're already done on the White Sox, and now we're rolling. Mike Cameron's 81 overall gold card has been unlocked. Let's start buying more cards and finishing off more collections. We have 50K to spend. Jolie Oli! He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's back. All right, so I am going through. We just did the White Sox collection. We have our first collection down, so I'm just going to go one collection at a time, get the cheap ones done. But before I do that, I just got Bryce Harper out of those diamond packs, so we're going to do the Phillies up front. We'll do buy order to try and save a little bit penny pinch so we'll put buy orders in on the Phillies and then I'm just going to go through and burn through the cheaper collections and get those unlocked Red Sox Kenley Jansen 700 that's going to lock him in it finishes the team for the 83 Andre Dawson and then the Blue Jays are the other collection I wanted to complete where you actually get a diamond reward the 86 Roy Holiday he only has 75 hits per nine but his sinker and cutter both have 99 control and he has 90 control of the curveball as well. So this is one of the diamond collections that I'm actually interested in using. And Bo Bichette and Vladdy Jr. are both only about 10,000 on the marketplace. So we're going to put buy orders in on them. Finish this collection. Buy order on Zach Wheeler just went through. So we'll go unlock uh, John Cruck while we wait for these buy orders to go through on the Blue Jays. All right, 40 out of 40 on the Phillies. That's going to unlock the 88 overall John Cruck. Lock those in. Our buy order on Vlad Jr. just went through, so we're just Bo Bichette away from having that Roy Holiday unlocked. I actually am 40 out of 40 on the A's. I didn't even realize that, so we don't have to get anyone to finish that for Mark McGuire. The Nationals' only gold is Lane Thomas. That's a 700 stub purchase. Lock those in for the 80 overall, Tim Raines. You already have three out of four golds on the Brewers. We're going to put a buy order in, 1300 for Devin Williams to finish out Milwaukee. Brian Reynolds is the only gold for the Pirates we don't have, so we'll just do 700 buy order, order there. We'll fill that out for the 83 Ralph Kiner. Buy order just went through on Devin Williams, so now we can finish up Brewers. That gives us the 83 Ryan Braun. All-time franchise leader in home runs, Ryan Braun. Buy order on Bo Bichette went through, so now we're finished with the Toronto Blue Jays. There's the 86 Roy Holiday. We're going to throw him directly in our rotation. Now, the only gold left to purchase on the Cardinals is Paul Goldschmidt. Another guy will put a buy order in, try and save a couple hundred stubs. And the Cincinnati Reds are another team. We're already 40 out of 40. They only have the one gold. We got the 82 Ryan Ludwig for, com Ludwig for completion, and then the buy order on Paul Goldschmidt went through at the same time, so we'll lock in the Cardinals for 84, Matt Holly. Look at Baldy Matt Holiday on that card. Yo, what a card choice. Now, you get about a 1,000 stubs every time you complete one of these collections, so we're actually gaining subs 
on some of these. Cody Bellinger does go for $19.95. We'll put a buy order in at $17.50. We'll penny pinch there to try and finish the Cubbies. That went through immediately. That's the other thing I like about the game this early in the year. The marketplace is going crazy. These buy orders are going through within seconds. 83 overall. Lee Smith goes through. That collection is now completed. Only Marlin we have left to complete is Luis Arise. We'll just pay the $1,000 for him. Oh, yeah. Tanner Scott's kind of good. He's kind of good on here, too, Tanner Scott. Where's he at? Oh, yeah. 84 Tanner Scott. Scott. Jolly Olive impressed with the 84 Tanner Scott leading the way on the Marlins. We're not going to talk about that ERA one inning, but that unlocked the Dontrell Willis for completing the Marlins collection. We were just talking about him too. Here's the easy one. Kerry Carpenter, the silver 77 overall for the Tigers. All we need to finish Detroit. Gives us the 81 overall Ian Kinsler. Ooh, Jose Ramirez is a little cheaper than I anticipated. I'm not sure. But we have enough subs to do one of the cheaper diamonds to finish off one of these, whether it's Jose Ramirez for the Guardians, Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, for the the Royals, or we could do, I believe it was Blake Snell for the Giants to finish that collection as well. So we're going to be able to do one out of those. That's after we grab Yandy Diaz off the marketplace to lock in the Rays for the 84 overall Carlos Pena. All right, quick mid-video recap here. We just went through, we spent all but 20,000 stubs. We're gonna purchase one or two more here. But as of right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 collections done. No money spent in the first week. Free agent collection also done. That just got us another 10 packs. And for every team that we have left here, there's really only the diamond players left. So we know exactly who we're looking for when we're opening packs. And all of the golds that we open out of our packs moving forward are duplicates that we can immediately sell and keep getting our stub bankroll up. Right now, I think I'm going to grab Jose Ramirez first out of these guys that I was contemplating, and we will finish the Guardians. I don't think I got any divisions done, though. Oh, wait, hold on. They changed that this year. I just realized that. You don't do each division for a collection anymore. It's just straight ALNL. Oh. oh. Okay, so we're at 9 out of 15 on Pedro Martinez. We're at 7 out of 15 on Rafael Palmero. Once we get those done, again, we get Babe Ruth. But we got some work to do for some of these more expensive collections. 10,000 subs sitting in our bankroll right now. The team as it sits, just going off S generated, is Charlie Blackman, Dylan Cruz, Giancarlo Stanton, Joey Votto, Tony Stone, Colson Montgomery, Adrian Beltre, Gary Sanchez behind the plate. Obviously, we're going to mix and match some of this real quick, though. I'm going to go through the lineup. Let's see what our top ranked seasons lineup is. Okay, we have the Byron Buxton Cornerstone Team Captain card activated on the tier three boost which gives us plus 15 power versus right plus 15 power versus left plus 10 speed plus 10 fielding for all hitters with 60 vision or less we have all 11 that we need locked in there for a full boost and this is the team i think i'm going to jump into a ranked seasons game with at the beginning of the next no money spent video and that will also be us featuring Roy Holiday on the mound, like I said. Let me make sure we're utilizing. Lineup at the beginning of the next episode is going to be Colson Montgomery, Byron Buxton, James Wood, Giancarlo Stanton, Tamar Johnson, Adrian Beltre, Joey Votto, Gary Sanchez, and then we're running a platoon at D8s between Ryan Howard and Paul Goldschmidt since we have the double lefties to flip it there. We get a righty starter. They start going lefty out of the bullpen middle of the game. We have a guy like Goldschmidt we can pull out, and then I do or probably should get at least one more lefty on this bench, and I'm also going to plug the new Carlos Pena Gold card in on our bench for JT Romuto, which will maintain that boost for Byron Buxton. And this is going to be the squad. Not a bad first week playing the game. We have about half the collections completed. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up down below. I will see you guys in the next one. This was a big like update video, really. Just obviously going through collections. It was a big pack opening too, though. We got our first like live series, legit live series diamond pool with Bryce Harper, which helped out with the collection, saved us 10,000 stubs. I'm out. Go use code Shelfie at SeatGeek. 20 bucks off your order. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Jolly. Hey, man. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>